We got ourselves another channel battle. Omega Emperor versus Crimson Flare Storm. Not gonna lie, Crimson Flare Storm, that's a pretty badass name. I don't have anything else to really say besides that, just that's a cool name. The end. I was gonna go to Christmas music for a second. Uh, nothing like a good cold drink outside of my channel. You're not drinking orange soda, you failed at life. Huh, not a lot of notifications today. Maybe I should do a video. Something's wrong. <laughs> if I don't see many notifications on YouTube when I turn it up, and I'm just gonna be like, uh oh, did they finally get me? Wait, I wouldn't be able to log in if they didn't get me. I'm fine. Just a slow day. Hello there. <gasps> oh, hello there. Sorry, you startled me for a second. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, it's fine. But who are you? Just sleep with an eye open tonight. Crimson Flare Storm. Nice to meet you, Crimson. My name's Omega Emperor, but please call me Omega. Nice to meet you. Say, are you up for a game of Yu-Gi-Oh? Sure. I was gonna go back and grab my deck and then look for someone to duel. Cool. Well, you found someone hey, right you here. Still have your Cyber's deck? Yeah, I got my Cyber's deck. Why do you ask? I was thinking, since you have a Cyber's deck and I happen to have one on me right now. I'm thinking of having a Cyber's Mirror Match. That'd be cool. A Cyber's Mirror Match? That sounds like an awesome idea! Yeah, and then you What's start it? losing. It's like, ah, oh, shit, now I have to get in the like game, that. you know? Do you want to come? My honor's on the line. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Take yourself at home. Uh, we walk past the dueling field. Oh, it's some cool artwork and nice some cool statues. Thanks. I'll be just a second. Don't break into my safe. Here it is. Hey, Omega. I'm curious. What's inside that safe you got there? Oh. No one was into the safe. It's where I keep my overpowerful deck. <laughs> Gross. But why do you have that kind of deck? Well, In case of emergencies. Someone. Might I ask who? Sorry, Crimson. But that is for me to only know. Shadow okay, Blue. I understand. Glad to know. So come on, let's go to the duel arena. Hmm. Must be saving for some important. I guess he's saving against the Yugi Brody. I don't know. That guy, the red channel now. And I'll use the threat to summon big from my deck. Then I'll use what if we say we get for Grogar? <laughs> That'd be something. Splash Mage. Then I'll use Splash Mage effect to special summon back from my graveyard. Okay. Then I'll use both of my monsters to link summon Deco Talker. Deco Talker. What else? Then I'll set a hard face down and end my turn. I draw. I play the spell card Signet Ritual. Oh, he's ritual I summoning. Oh boy. A abyss worm to ritual Assembler. Cyburst Magician. But it's fine. Now I'll have Cyburst Magician attack Deco Talker. Good pick, because now it's a rarely useful effect. I set two cards and end my turn. I draw. I summon Flame Buffalo. Then increase its level by 2 to special summon Kakyo E, level 2. Now I'll use Flame Buffalo to link summon... Bay Lynx. No. Talk back Lancer. Ooh, now I can bring back his Deco Talker. Flame Buffalo's effect goes off. By sending a Cyber's Monster from my hand to the graveyard, I can draw two cards from my deck. Now or like Digitron or something, I don't know. Setting. Come back. Oh, never mind. It was Dotscaper. Now Smart thinking. Talk back effect. By sending a monster that this card points you to the graveyard, which is Cat Ear E, I can special summon a talker monster from my graveyard to take its place. So say goodbye to E and hello decode. Mm. Now Still I'm won't be strong enough. With Dopscaper to link summon Unclock Taker. That'll do it. Now I'll use the effect to target my decode talker to increase your Cyber's Magician's attack equal to its attack. It will still gain an attack an extra thousand attack points, but that now won't be enough. Will attack your Cyber's Magician. But my Cyber's Magician effect 
still gains 1,000 attack points because of your Deco Talker. Nuts. I play my trap, Cyber's Beacon, and I'll add Paladin of Storm Dragon. Next, he's I'm doing the Ritual Pro to the ranks. I play my other trap. Like I figured Defense one was fine. It's like when we pulled the second one, it's like, okay, so this is what we're doing now. Too bad this is made before we got the third cyber spiritual. I play the spell card, sign at mining. The level one one to be more specific. a card from my hand to the graveyard, I can add one level four or lower cyber monster from my deck, and I send Paladin of Storm Dragon to add cyber synchron. Oh boy. Now I is he going for dark fluid? Ritual spell, sign that ritual from my graveyard. When there are no monsters on my field, I can banish this card and a ritual monster to summon two tokens. Oh, Next, okay. I summon Wedding Kid, and I'll use its effect bring back, to special bring summon out Cyber, Cyber Synchron. Synchron. Now you control a monster in the extra monster zone, I can special summon Backlinker from my hand. This field I is full. I use two tokens and Backlinker to Link Summon. Decode Talker. Oh, now, you got I'll your use own. Cyber Synchron's ability to increase Wedge Kids by three. Now, I tune my Cyber Synchron with my level six Wedge Kid to Synchro Summon Cyber's Quantum Dragon. Fantastic. First, my Deco Talker will. Do like how the two different Deco Talkers had different artworks, though. Next, I'll attack Cyber's Quantum Dragon and use its effect to return your Deco Talker to mm. your extra. I don't think so. I play my track card, Solemn Strike. Ooh, nice. Gaiden Strike. I set a card and end my turn. I draw. And I summon Route Cloud. And I'll use its effect to add Cat Eve level 2 from my graveyard. They have all I cards? Oh, well, I guess she's a special summon, so makes sense. Level two. Then I'll use both of them to link summon. Now what are you gonna make? Flame Administrator. Okay, how's that gonna help now you now? Gonna well, of course, with the code. Trying to effect and flame administrator. Never about that. Like I let that happen. I play the trap fiendish chain nah. on your flame administrator. Great. Oh. Means the power boost goes bye bye. In that case, my decode will attack your decode. <laughs> they clash. I am my turn. I draw. I set a card and end my turn. That's it. All right. I draw. When I summon Cyber's Wizard. Now I'll use Cyber's Wizard. Let's lick him off. I don't think this will get rid of Phoenix Chain though, because the Link monster wasn't just uh, the connecting monster wasn't destroyed. Transcode Talker. Nice. This can bring back now his Decode Talker. Special summon Decode Talker. Again, again, again. Both have Transcode Talker attack you directly. Next is Decode Talker. Deco destruction. I don't think so. I play Recoded Alive. I banish Deco to summon Power Code Talker. I am my turn. I draw. Why not attack it? I think it's about time I end this duel. Eh. How? Huh? You only got one card. I mean, I know Power Code Talker's effect, need. but I summon. I think I only got fifteen hundred life points left. Next, so I mm. banish two Cybers monsters to summon Duel Abyss Worm. From my graveyard. But its stats now, are halved. I use them oh, no. to link summon. Firewall Dragon. The ugliest Third dragon Lord. of them all. Oh, you have got to be One of at least. Since I have a ritual and synchro monster in my graveyard, my dragon gains two counters. And it's got two counters during the battle phase, and it gains 5,000 attack. Dark fluid, attack his transcode, Tucker. Well, this is game. GG, you got wrecked by someone who could was barely Once reading their again. cards. First, I lost to DG twice. The Alan Wagner, then experience. Nova, and now you. 
I feel like I'm on a losing streak. Well, when you just lost three duels in a row, you are. Yeah, you're right. Good. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Don't worry. Okay, if you say so. You say so. <laughs> hey, I know how we'll get that mind about that. How about we go to the Dizzy Tiger Bar? My treat. Sure. <coughs> I'm getting a little thirsty. Then what are we standing around here for? Hmm. So that redness might be had to Just one more. Ominous. So this redness is connected to him losing, I guess, a lot. Maybe he's like starting to loot, go crazy or something like that. And then, you know, that redness will take over or something and make him turn evil in a way, I guess. It's a cool duel, though. Yeah, it's got, guy's probably just not. Yeah, the uh, Crimson guy probably just isn't that much into Yu Gi Oh! Or if he is, he's just not into the. Uh, he's just gonna play Cybers. It might be that simple. But yeah, it seems like a good guy. It was a pretty solid duel. Dark Fluid was. Well, it's an ugly car, but it's kind of hyped to see, of course, but... And it, <laughs> as soon as I saw the ritual and the freaking uh, synchro, I'm just like, oh, crap. I know where this is going, because I play it. <laughs> but, yeah, just a cool thing. <laughs> so, nice little episode here. And setting up this safe thing, which might be useful for, like, a counter of the red eyes guy, or maybe it's the red eyes guy's deck. I don't know. Time will tell that tale. Maybe we'll find it in the next episode. We're going to find out. It, and we'll see if we're making it a win or not. And if not, well, the plot thickens. If so, we wait a little bit longer. But hey, you'll get a win. But find out next time. Later.